Federal agencies regularly issue papers, policies, and guidance. But when do these words carry the force of law? Must they be codified or go through special procedural steps to establish binding rules? The 2006 federal case of Center for Auto Safety versus National Highway Traffic Safety Administration examines these very issues. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration was responsible for issuing recalls for unsafe motor vehicles. Automakers were also allowed to issue voluntary recalls for safety-related defects. In the mid-1980s, automobile manufacturers adopted a practice of issuing regional recalls. In 1997, the agency notified major automakers and a trade association that it was starting to have concerns about the practice as it related to geographically specific recalls. The agency later sent letters to various car manufacturers outlining a policy that allowed regional recalls in specific circumstances. The policy guidelines in these letters distinguished circumstances in which regional recalls were and were not appropriate. They also described situations in which the administration may be willing to approve a regional recall or modify the manufacturer's notification duties. In 2002, the Center for Auto Safety a consumer advocacy organization, began to take issue with the agency's policy of approving regional recalls. The center claimed these policy guidelines violated federal law by creating de facto rules about regional recalls. The center also claimed these guidelines violated the Administrative Procedure Act because they were issued without satisfying the public notice and comment requirement. The agency responded by providing the center with the letter template that included the policy guidelines. The center responded and received no reply from the agency. In 2004, Public Citizens Incorporated, another consumer advocacy group, joined the Center for Auto Safety and sued the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration in district court, alleging that the administration's policy guidelines violated federal law. The trial court found for the administration and dismissed the claims. The center appealed to the D.C. Circuit.